Hey everyone, so I am going to finally do a walkthrough of my December daily album. It is a beast of an album as it usually winds up. It's very huge. Um, I think I'm only missing one thing because I was flipping through to see. I think I'm only missing one or two things and then I printed a photo wrong. But other than that, it is finished and I'm excited to show you. So I opened with hexagons. That was the theme for product play workshop this year. So I decided to follow that and I used a hexagon on a transparency. And then just some large cork numbers, I think from a week in the life kit. So, and then on the back, I just did kind of my reason why. I didn't know exactly what else I would put on there, but I liked the idea of stamping with Crafty Gen Scouse stamps and then also just writing my reason why. Because after nine years, it's pretty simple to <laughs> write my reason why. It stays the same. I think on this one, I was gonna write gratitude, but then I wound up losing a stamp or something. I don't know. I should probably go back and fix it. And if not, then I'll fix it before December, de December Daily 2020. This year is December Daily. I'm trying to make sure that this is angled right. I think that's good. I think this is actually from a 2018 kit. I opened my album with picking ornaments with my kids. We went to go pick them on the first. Usually we do it right after Thanksgiving, but Thanksgiving was so late in November that we wound up doing it on the first. So I just documented that and which ones we picked. And then I just captured my son and I on the security camera because he was dancing and being goofy as usual. Okay, so on this one, I had this photo and this card and I really wanted to incorporate both, but I didn't want to go into extra pockets, I guess. And I was trying to be cool and come up with a cool way to um, do something fun and unique. So I decided to put a flip pocket right over the quote because when I laid this down, it perfectly covered the quote. So now it's a flip. I can just document our day, um, punch out some hearts from the paper um, and add another heart there and then some more little clustering right there for day two. I also took this photo on the second, I believe, or the first, and I wanted to include it because I just was carrying in all these bags. I don't know about your kids, but my kids leave me with all the bags. So I wind up like, well, what's the word? Like a Sherpa or like a donkey carrying all the bags. So I just stopped, took a moment to breathe, literally a moment, and I snapped a photo because it was just, it really fit the quote and like what I was thinking at that time. Magic is something we make. So then we move into three and my husband went out and got me these after a really long day. And I was like, remember those treats that we got a couple weeks ago at Target? And these were them. So he went out and got them for me. I really struggled with how to put this page together. Once again, trying to be fancy. I'm not really a fancy December daily type of person. Um, but this year I tended to follow the bandwagon and <laughs> tried more fancy stuff. So I did the hexagons and I just talked about what I'm thankful for. I could have done the back, but decided not to. More crafty Gen Scow stamps. And then this is gonna open. And I also combined some In a Creative Bubble and Kelly stamps. I think it worked overall. And I documented, like I said, our favorite show. And then you flip it and you see elf pictures. A4 with the elves and I, in this album, this particular album, I did a lot of flashbacks and pulling out photos from previous years. I was not able to find a photo of my daughter with her elf, so I just pulled one from when she was a really little baby and her big brother had put the elf by her. This is when my son first got his elf and I just did a timer so that way I could get the photo. And then this is what they were doing on the 4th and I just did some puffy stickers to match. And then this one opens and I followed Tashiana. She does amazing stories every day for her December daily. And I decided to write to the elves because I think 2019 might've been our last year with elves. 
wrote about, you know, how it's been an awesome eight years and how much we've loved their shenanigans. And then I think this is one of the things that I'm missing. I just need a collage of what they did. Day five is mainly a hybrid page. I just took some photos of my um, cats and these were from the gratitude. I just pop dotted them. And then I think Allie Edwards wound up doing, did this idea first, but I just listed out some things with my stamps. I think these are the Reed stamps and called it done. I think there's a star that's hidden. So there you go. That's just five, called it done. I don't even think I put the number five. I think it's just represented right there. So that's just gonna have to work. Okay, so day six is my daughter going to the Christmas tree lighting with her Girl Scouts. Um, I could not take her because my husband and I were going on a date night but I interviewed her and all the things that she liked. My favorite was the um, when she said the train ride went like this and this, and she made this gesture. And uh, she said, I said, what is that called? And she said, squirmy. And I was like, oh, that's too funny. So I took a photo of her before she left. She had to hold some Funkos, the advent calendar. And then I go into date night. I took, Right before we left, we went to the top and I took a photo of the band and it wasn't the best quality, but I really loved it. And I blew it up, added a cluster here and a cluster here. This is from just the notepad. And then I added a favorite song and the number six. I probably should have spent some more time so that way I wouldn't have this weird gap, but oh well. I love the idea of just adding in a favorite song because our favorite band was um, not this particular band. It was this band. I think it was the Head and the Heart. This one, I did another Kelly Stamps mainly and I did a food collage. I don't normally document food, um, especially in December Daily, but this was actually the restaurant that I worked at when we were in college. And so it was kind of special. Here's another selfie of us, the head and the heart, and that's the one we really loved. And then I just made this, I don't know if it's funky or not, but I made this um, transparency card with a bunch of different things going on, a hexagon, wood veneer, um, uh, wood veneer here, acrylic and stickers. And then on the back is gonna be for day seven of getting the Christmas tree. Crafty Jen. Jen, she's so awesome, sent me some die cuts. So I layered those throughout seven. I had some hole punched tags. Tags, is that what they're called for this? But I guess I forgot to put them in. This is a color cast designs. And then I just matted it on the back with some more trees and a vellum that I had printed out. I got a photo of my husband and son cutting the tree. And then our tradition, I think this is our third or fourth year, but when we all agree on the tree, we say hands in. So I blew that photo up too. Made another card that's very similar to the one over here, just repeating it, and then added in the photos. And then this one has some journaling, more photos, and then two four by sixes, and that's it. The tree, getting the tree is always a big, or not a big ordeal like in a bad way, but I always wind up doing tons of pages. Totally fine with me. Then Sunday wound up being a day at home. I loved making this page and I used a bunch of Scrap and Happy Studio flares. I used one here and here. And I, I know this is an A, it's not an O, but for me it works. It's Sunday and then I just put all the things that we were doing. Just a simple, simple page about everyday life because I don't know about you, but not every day is festive and <laughs> lots of activities. And then I also put a picture of the bouquet of flowers my husband got me and then a card that Jen sent me. My kids and their goofy selfies when um, we were putting together the tree. I think my daughter had the cat toy in her hand. No idea why, but she did. And then some more journaling. I cut down a notepad piece of paper to journal. Jen sent me this cut file and I fussy cut this to make um, kind of a banner and it coordinates with the top of the photo of my kids. So that'll be nine. And there's my kids, all their goofiness. Cause I let them decorate the tree. I discovered that a couple years ago, once I get the lights on, 
I just, it's so much better if they just go crazy. They can just decorate to their heart's content and it doesn't need to be fancy or quote unquote perfect. So day 10, Laura Wonski did this one where you just cut a slit and then you in, put in a tag. And I just talked about, um, and I know that this, I don't know if this is funky or not, but I really liked it. And I just talked about being very tired. I mean, you can tell my hair is very exhausted and <laughs> my hair looks tired, doesn't it? Um, but I just documented how I'm tired, but I'm thankful. I love being a stay at home mom. It's the hardest job ever. And I'm exhausted more than I'm not, but I love it and I wouldn't want it any other way. So that Friday, my kids got to go shopping at a school boutique, so they were thrilled with their purchases, and I just documented that there. And then also for day 11, I <laughs> wrestled this thing into um, flip-ups for our Harry Potter uh, Funko. And then just a simple like guide key to the back. And so in wrestling this, I wanted to make these fancy flip-ups and it took me forever to use the bone folder and figure it out and get them to cooperate and get the sizes of the photos. So I really like how it came out. It was just a lot of work. So there we go. And then on the back is just some family selfies and I used just a strip, four by six card, a file Jen sent me, a heart. I think these are from Stories by the Month. And I think this is actually supposed to be up here. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be like that, but I can fix that later. Or maybe it's supposed to be here. It slipped off of somewhere, so I'll have to fix that. So yes, just family selfies, because that's how we love to end our evenings, is cuddling together on the couch. 13, we went to the local Christmas tree lights and just walked around. I'm telling you guys this year, maybe December daily was also a little hard this year because my kids are getting older and like my sweet daughter, she's six and a half. Well here she was almost six and a half, but she, she walking through this court, she was like, mom, this court, or she, I think she said it to my husband, dad, this court is so small. I was like, oh my gosh, they're growing up. <laughs> they, cause you know, the court used to be so huge and magical and it still is, but they're realizing you know, I don't know. It just feels like they're growing up so much. And then some more photos. I could have put something on the back of here, like cardstock or something, but I just left it. So another flashback photo, which I absolutely love, and it's I put it right along the same tree because every year, I think this was our sixth or seventh year, going on the Santa train with my mom, and sometimes Papa would join us. But this is my daughter's first year, so 2013, and I used a flip pocket and just, look at that. Look how big they are. So big and at the same tree. I just, oh my goodness, just amazing. And this is also another activity that might be the last year that we do. Um, so, oh, they're growing up so fast. So I had the videos that the kids had when they were talking to Santa, and sometimes I put in big blown up photos, but this year I just decided to just write little notes about what they talked about with Santa, so I think that's really priceless. This one I took directly from Allie Edwards. It was either her day seven or nine, and I got out some alphabet stamps that I've had with my kids for years and years. So it's just these ones, C and stamp jumbo uppercase alphabet. That's what I used and I just basically wrote about how today was a me day and like I was so just, I guess, immersed in my me day, I didn't take any photos. So, and I do tend to document a me day in my albums at least once. Okay, day 16, I also tend to document the weather. So I took a photo of the, the frosted grass looks Probably doesn't look like the best picture, but that's okay. Later on, some of Jen's flares cut a hexagon and just used an envelope and then took a photo from the backyard and just uh, put it on because it was the right size. This was a freebie in one of Jen's um, packages, so I just used that. And then these were some of the days of the week that I hadn't used, so I just used them to put the temperature. 
17 is just our holiday card and I tucked it into an envelope and punched holes in it, called it done. 18 is music. So I documented our favorite music and then I did another letter to music. This year was just, music seemed to play a different role, made me um, help to remind me that we were in the season of joy and I just, these songs, I just love them. They're from many years ago, some recent. It's just a wide range of collections. So my music, Christmas music is special to me. I documented making Christmas cards. I took a photo of me holding the envelopes and then I just put it right below the happy holidays. And then I took photos over the few days that we put the cards together. And then I just talked about how cool it was that this season of life, Christmas cards are a family project now, which is really cool because they help me. Um, my, and my son writes the addresses, my daughter puts the stickers and washi on, and then they did the stamp. So it really was like a process all together. So that was really fun. That is a good thing about my kids growing up. That was really cool this season. And then 20 was at my daughter's school, just volunteering for fun Christmas activities. And I put the ornament that I helped the kids make. I just put a little photo of that. My daughter and I at the little crafty event. So 21, I was gonna try to put the letters there and then I cut them off too short. I'm like, I don't know what that looks like, but that doesn't look like a 21. So I put 21 in gold and then just some photos of us shopping, going out to a restaurant to eat, and then my kids' shenanigans. Big Brother put her smoothie in the Happy Meal and she just thought it was hysterical. So I just journaled about that. Okay, 22 was huge. And once again, I decided to go with a throwback, flashback, remembering aspect. My best friend of, oh my goodness, almost 20 years, he came up for his annual Christmas visit and I wanted to document how that's always been a tradition. So I used these pockets to do that. It started in 2011, then 2013. Finally used one of these color cast frames, 2014 and 18 and this year. These are also color cast. And then I did a collage. I didn't want this to have the space here, but that's okay because it helped me create the title using Crafty Jen's stamps, Timeline of Fun. Because when Uncle Carlos comes to visit, we literally pack in so much stuff. So I gave him his presents, um, my daughter did his hair, we went out to dinner, watched a movie together, did um, created some cookies, and then after the kids went to bed, we took our usual goofy selfies, and so I put those on the back, really small, and a hybrid uh, printed out piece, and then some more stamping. This one, these photos were taken right before Uncle Carlos left the next day, so I included those. This is 23, jumping with my kids on the trampoline. And Jen, Crafty Jen Scow, she took the template or the cut file from Lisa in the product play and she saved it for me as a PDF. So I was able to take the PDF and duplicate and copy and shrink and move these. So that's what I did and I just clipped in or made circles to clip in the photos. I hope that makes sense. But that's what I did and I pop dotted this main one of me and the kids and then my son and I jumping and then I just did a circle over here to repeat it. So I really love how that came together. I think I was actually supposed to put paper here, but oh well. Then we started something new by looking for houses. We like went, um, went looking on the good old internet and found some houses to drive around to. So maybe it's a new tradition, don't know. I kind of wonky fussy cut that. Is that, a, is that how you say it? Wonky fussy cut. And so I just put some photos and a 24. This is also 24. I used up a transparency, never enough twinkle lights. And then a photo I edited. It's supposed to look dark. To me, it looks like dark vintage, so that's fine by me. And then this is Starts Christmas. This is what my daughter bought her brother. A amazing mask so he could terrorize us because that's what he loves to do. And then the cats sitting in the tree. 
and our other cat. And then this one I had a blast making. I did another hexagon, same as the Santa train, but this one pops out to show the kids and their presents. And I used some Kelly stamps. And then I just talked about what my daughter got. Some more photos. And then the flares are Scrap and Happy Studio. There's my son and his mask. Just a little clustering of embellishments. I think this one got stuck together. There we go. And then my son right there. And then right there. So super fun and super interactive. Love how this one came together. So I'm gonna flip that. And then I used, once again, I think this is the second year in, the, in a row, I used Pam Baldwin's template. And I stretched this one so it could fit our large family photo. And I just did a two page for our uh, Christmas photos, picked out our favorites, called it done. This is something I laminated with some flat sequins and it says Merry Christmas. So that goes in the middle. And, it, and doing these templates with the collages makes wrapping up Christmas so easy and much less intimidating to me. And then the last photo is us in front of the tree. I think I printed the wrong photo. This photo, um, my daughter's not looking at the camera, but I can fix that or not fix it. Layered in a bunch of different pieces, puffy sticker, Jen's flares, stickers, and that's it. There you go. That is a whopping huge beast of an album, but I am excited to have my ninth year done and documented. I hope you enjoyed watching this very long walkthrough of this project. I certainly appreciate it. And if you enjoyed it, I'd love a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of my videos, I'd love a subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Bye.